I'm black. <laughs> okay, I, I, I thought it was a funny joke, okay? It's, it's February, you have to laugh. That's, that's the rule. And also, you have to let me cut you in line at Starbucks. Sorry, white people, it's February. I don't make the rules. Okay, I do. What's up, what's up, Smile Squad? It's your girl, Amber Smiles Jones, and I am back. Now, you know, that flu that's going around, it kind of took me out, man. I was I was down and out for about two weeks, man. It, it, yo. Wash your hands, carry some hand sanitizer, cover your mouth when you sneeze, because niggas is dirty. It's February, which means it's Black History Month, the entire month. You're damn right, and I'm black, so we gonna talk about it. So we gonna talk about it. Damn right. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time for recognizing the role blacks played in U.S. history. Black History Month begins in 1915, about half a century after the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States. Carter G. Woodson, an historian, and Jesse E. Moreland, a minister, founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. Now, a question that many have had over the years, why is Black History Month in February? And the satirized complaint is that February is the shortest month of the year, so why not make that the month we study Black History? Black History Month began as Negro History Week, which Carter G. Woodson labeled himself in 1926, and it bothered him that many textbooks and other historical reviews of the contributions of black figures made in this country were minimized or completely ignored. So Woodson chose the second week of February because it covered the birthdays of Frederick Douglass, February 14th, and Abraham Lincoln, February 12th. Now, both men contributed majorly to the black history. Now Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation that freed slaves in the Confederacy in 1863. And that was a big deal if you ask me, and I feel like they probably killed him for it. Frederick Douglass, an American abolitionist, author, and renowned activist, escaped slavery himself and learned to read and write at the age of 12. Can you imagine living in a time where it's illegal for you to know how to read or write just because you're black? That is horrifying to just to think about that. And you know what? It wasn't really that long ago. The publicity led to many mayors and college campuses recognizing the week. So throughout the years, because of all the support, before you knew it, the entire month of February became a celebration of black history. Now there is also another annoying question that I am often asked as a black woman who celebrates Black History Month. Why isn't there a White History Month? That's every single history class I've ever taken. There you go. To that I say, open every history book ever given in American schools. The reason Black History Month seemed necessary is because those books minimize black contribution uh, to our country. Well, why isn't there a Hispanic History Month or an Asian History Month? And so on. National Hispanic Heritage Month is from September 15th to October 15th. There is an Asian Pacific uh, American Heritage Month as well. A Native American Heritage Celebration and I'm sure many, many more cultures and contributions that the history books in American schools left out. I'm black, so we're going to talk about that. The Association for the Study of Negro Life and History was an organization that was dedicated to researching and promoting achievements by black people. And believe you me, there are a lot more than you think. Frederick McKinley Jones invented the air conditioning unit around 1949, and Jones patented more than 60 inventions in his lifetime. However, he's known for inventing an automatic refrigeration system for long-haul trucks and railroad cars. Think about that. This brother is responsible for how we get cold milk and produce delivered to your grocery stores. How my beloved ice cream stays ice cream. This man is doing God's work as far as I'm concerned. He has done God's work. Alexander Miles was an African-American inventor who was best known for being awarded a patent for an automatically opening and closing elevator door design in 1887. 
People actually had to manually open and close elevator doors before this. He didn't actually invent the elevator, but he did certainly improve elevator safety with his innovation in the mechanism to open and close elevator doors. That's kind of cool when you think about it. Let's go ahead and talk about Otis Boykin for a second. He improved the pacemaker and made everyday electronic devices like the television and computers more efficient and affordable. In 1959, he patented a wire precision resistor which allows specific amounts of electrical current to flow for a specific purpose. That sounds really intricate. I can barely figure out 15% of my check. Now later on, he created a new resistor that could withstand change in temperature and air pressure. Now this amazing breakthrough allowed many electronic devices to be made more affordable and more reliable than before. He's even responsible for inventing a control unit for the pacemaker. Now this device is implanted in the body to help the heart beat normally. I don't know about you, but I, I'm, I'm hella impressed. Yeah, I wonder what his credit score will be like today. Sarah Boone was an African-American inventor who was awarded a patent for the ironing board. Now she was born in Craven County in North Carolina and in her patent application she wrote that the purpose of her invention was to produce a cheap, simple, convenient, and highly effective device particularly adapted to be used on ironing sleeves and bodies of ladies garments. Prior to that time most people ironed using a board of wood rested across a pair of chairs or tables. Times have changed, haven't they? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys lending me your time because you could be at any channel, but you is here with me. And you know what? Most of all, thank you for joining me and learning about black inventors for the celebration of Black History Month. Bing, bam, boom, bow. I don't know why I made that sound. But now we know why Black History Month is celebrated in February. Don't wait. Yes, wait. do Be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And click that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you'll always be dinged whenever I post my weekly, weekly, weekly videos. Because don't you worry. I'll be black. Yeah, I, I had to try that one again. I did. I did. I, I did. <sighs> what? If you want to hear the audible version of this awesome information, be sure to go ahead and look in the description box and there you will see the link to my new podcast. My what? My what? So if you're too busy at work and you can't actually physically watch me, it's okay. Put in your earbuds because I can go wherever you go now. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why I do a lot of the things that I do, but I do have a new podcast and it's called Professionally Silly and it is on the most amazing podcast app ever called Anchor. And it's so dope that whenever I post a podcast, it automatically goes to the iTunes podcast. Yes, it does. And I will put both links in the description box so you can go ahead and catch up on my previous episodes if you haven't already heard them. Why did I get British? I'm proud to present the Bayard Rustin Award to Amber Whittington for her prominence in advancing the social movement of black and LGBT rights. Please welcome Amber Whittington of Amber's Closet. Hello? Hey. <laughs> this is amazing.